you can write down notes on medical astrology medical astrology identification of disease roha write down the heading write down identification of disease so what are we going to do here see as i told you there are varied steps in order to go about and identify an ailment or a disease right but we are going to look into the easy first step in order to go about and diagnose the diagnosis of an ailment or a disease after that in the later steps to come because there would be a separate supplementary course on medical astrology that time we can go deeper but first you need to complete the first stage the first stage itself will give you profound insights because remember it's very important to gather the rudimentary fundamental sparse information on where is this ailment going to come from what type of ailment this person will have have and only after that you can actually go about and delve into the next step so this is main as i always tell you the fundamental basis in astrology is main there's nothing beyond that right okay so write down the graha the graha which indicates ailment or roha or disease is shani swaran shani bhagwan in the bhava the fourth bhava is considered as the sukha sthana what is it called the sukha sthana in the horoscope sir are you good madam are you good is your mother good is your brother good is everybody good at home basically what are you actually trying to inquire is everything sukha in your house with your mother with you with your wife so the key word here is sukha that's important right if you had to go to a doctor and you have to tell the doctor doctor i have head pain doctor i have pain in my leg what would the doctor do the doctor wouldn't take the stethoscope and put it right on top of your head would he do that no he wouldn't do that the doctor wouldn't take the steth and put it right on your leg he wouldn't do that straight away what the doctor would do he would take his steth and he would put it on your chest the fourth which is the sukha it is from there that he would actually go about and decipher or gauge the pulse so the sukha of the person is extremely go extremely important in going about and looking at especially as a precursor if everything is normal to the body or not so whenever you look into the horoscope instead of directly jumping to the ailments which are signified by the sixth as we discussed earlier or shanishwaran it's always good to start with the sukhasthana because they say kadagam kettal sugam kedum kadagam kadagarashi kettal if he is spoiled sugam kedum the sukhas will be spoiled so without going about and analyzing the fourth bhava the sukhasthana in one's horoscope it is not recommended to even look into whether there is a disease or not so let's say a person has a plethora of ailments but still the sukha is strong that means it is an answer that whatever comes he would be able to recover because he is born to enjoy the sukhas of life or there is a recovery likewise you should also be able to look into the sukha with regard to the grahas and what they mean which means the fourth from moon indicates your mother's sukha the fourth from sun indicates your father's sukha the fourth from shukra indicates your sister indicates your wife indicates your atte atte means aunt their sukha so like this for each graha there is the sukha associated so remember i again and again repeat the precursor or the start to an ailment starts with a sukha sthana which means what a weak sukha sthana indicates an ailment which also amplifies the fact that the fourth the sukha sthana is ruled by chandra as per the kalapurusha am i correct the fourth indicates your mind 
manasa so the start of every ailment is starting from the mind if your mind is weak if your mind is not strong if your mind is if your mind is you know if your mind is depressed if your mind is under some form of a problem then it also means that you know what there could be or there would be an onset of an ailment that's the reason we always say you know it is your mind which is the cause of all your miseries it is because of your mind that you are like this it's because of your mind that your life is like this your mind is not correct that's why your life is like this your mind is good everything will happen for your good mind right that is how it is right so this is how it is so we have shani then the sukha which is indicated by the fourth bhava and next we have the bhava which indicates roha which is the sixth so write down the bhava which indicates roha is the sixth the bhava which indicates chronic ailments is the eighth so we also need to infer upon the fact whether you know the ailment is going to be chronic in nature or is the ailment going to settle down and he'll be able to come out of it so this is also important so the moment you get the horoscope next time first your eyes should set into the fourth bhava if the fourth bhava is spoiled then after that you look into what the sixth eighth whatever you want to look at okay now considering what we have discussed as of now right what we are going to do is as an important easy step just to come into a clear cut analysis on what the ailment is like how we discussed earlier we are going to actually consider shani so right the first heading is going to be shani surya surya shani so first write down the heading how to actually go about and interpret it will tell you as we go ahead and how to actually go about and construe the combination association i would tell you but first you write down shani sun sun shani right on the page shani sun sun shani right so first you write down and then i will teach you how to come up with it so now we have shani who's the graha which indicates what roha right and we have sun just a minute so we have saturn sun or sun saturn so you write it like this okay so saturn which is the karaka graha for roha and sun which indicates what it indicates your head so write down point number 1 head related ailment so what are the ailments that you can think of when it comes to the head one is what is inside the head brain related ailment that could be a blockage to the that could be a blockage associated in the brain tumor cyst whatever right so brain related a person would say sir i banged my head somewhere i fell down somewhere i hurt my head but now it has deeply impacted my brain so brain related number 2 baldness so if somebody has lost his hair that is also equivalent to a roha right baldness number 3 heat related ailment fever measles right all of this number 4 burns fire burns right that is also heat right fire is also heat no next point number 5 i ailment point number 6 cardiac ailment what is cardiac ailment heart disease so how do i take this combination let's say i have a shani and the trine from shani which also means you also include apart from the trine you also include the saptamasthana you have a sun or let's say from the sun the trine from sun and the saptama or the saptama from sun right you have a shani so there is also a saturn sun or a sun saturn combination remember here here we are predicting irrespective of the degree 
see, we had the planetary combinations masterclass that is uh, PAX7, right? There we use degrees. But there are certain point blank predictions which function even if they are not in close proximity or connected degree wise, which means even if it's a conjunction, then also you consider it as an association. Even if it is in the trines, which may not really be connected from a degree standpoint of view, still you consider this as a prediction. Okay. Number seven. Abrasion of bones or fracture. Sun indicates the bone. Shani indicates what? Abrasion. Shani indicates fracture. Number eight. Stomach ailment or back ailment, back pain, back ailment. Right? Number nine. Abortion or miscarriage. Abortion or miscarriage. Number ten. Disease owing to changes in the climatic condition, especially with regard to what? Heat. Why? Because sun indicates heat. Ushna. Right? Shani indicates what? Shani indicates the ailment. So now what happens here when somebody is going to a place which is hot, which is humid, which is the climatic condition is extremely different. Suddenly, you know what? His health would go down. He would say that, you know what? I'm not able to withstand this heat. My head is reeling. It's going grrr like that. Right? So, diseases owing to change in the climatic condition. In bracket, put heat. That's all. Right? So, now, the additional thing that you need to remember here is when you see a sun shani or a shani sun combination, whatever we have predicted here, it also applies for the father. And it also applies for what? Your father-in-law. right? Father, father-in-law. When it comes to the mother-in-law, obviously we would take moon. Not now, but here we are just considering this for the father and father-in-law as well. So all this would apply to the father of this native who has this combination and the father-in-law. right? Next, number 11. There would be graying of one's hair. Graying of one's hair. So all of you, when you're free, make sure you revise this again and again. See, I'm again repeating it for you so that the revision is proper. The revision is pakka. So when you have a revision, it won't go out from your mind. Immediately, the next day you see a horoscope, without even looking into the notes, all of this will come. Right. That is when you would be able to apply all of this when it comes to practice. Does it mean, sir, if I have a Shani, Shani Surya combination or a Surya Shani combination, I have to go through all of them. I will get all these ailments. No, you cannot tell like that, right? But nonetheless, for those who have these type of ailments, there would be this combination. So what if Shani is in the Nakshatra of Sun? Can we take it as a combination? Yes, absolutely. Right? What if sun is in the nakshatra of Shani? Can we take it as a combination? Yes, absolutely. Sir, how does it function? How does all these ailments get applicable to one human or one individual? See, simple example. You know, I've already given you the example, right? Shani in the nakshatra of sun, right? Father underwent an accident, right? He broke his legs. Son had ailment pertaining to the eye. Next, the child had ailment pertaining to the brain, like this. The father-in-law had an ailment pertaining to the eyes. So like this, it actually goes about and alternates. But nonetheless, it actually makes sure that all the rules are satiated upon. A rule is a rule. It won't miss the rule. This is the thing that you need to keep in mind. right? All ailments do not have to come to a person. But one thing that you need to keep in mind at least he has to cross half of them as he completes his life cycle. This is also something that you need to keep in mind. So does it mean that you know it will happen during Shani Dasha, Surya Bhukti, Surya Dasha, Shani Bhukti like that? No. In every Dasha, all the Bhuktis will 
have to come. We are talking about ailments that would happen stage by stage in a person. Young age, my hair started graying. The next stage, I had eye problem. The next stage, bone related. So it is a stage by stage way of actually going about and seeing ailments in a person who has a combination. Again, for people who have a sun shani combination, shani sun combination, graying of hair, not applying dye, hair dye will actually give them luck. Why? Because shani is natural in nature. He prefers everything which is natural, right? So going about and making sure that you just leave your hair like that. You will see a lot of people who work in big, big organizations. They'll be very young in age, but they'll be having white hair. And that will actually be giving them luck and they will just keep it like that, right? So can we take it as a combination if Shani is aspecting sun or sun is aspecting Shani? Yes, absolutely. You can actually go about and take it as a combination, right? So remember, as I told you, astrology is a hidden Shastra. Astrology at times can be extremely confusing, but you don't have to worry as long as you're in the right hand, as long as you're going through the right source, you don't have to be afraid. Because once you know the technique, once you know the source, once you know the path, it's a beautiful subject. It's a wonderful subject. Now, what I want you to do is just to actually look at the different ways as to how combinations work. Please cast an example horoscope. Right? Cast an example horoscope. Now, first I'm going to start with the South Indian chart because... Technically, I'm not going to be using the Lagna. Lagna is not required in this case. Why? Because we're just looking at combinations, no? But just for the benefit of people in the northern part of India who are used to the North Indian chart, I will put the Lagna, right? But first, let's start with the South Indian chart where we are not going to use the Lagna. What you're going to do is put Shani in Mithuna Rashi. Okay? Next. So you have Shani in Mithuna Rashi. And you have Shani who would aspect Simharashi, which is ruled by Sun. Right? Now, for the convenience of people in the northern part of India, let's put the Lagna as Tula Lagna. Right? So, what I'm going to do, obviously, I'm putting Shani in Mithuna. So, obviously, Shani in Mithuna, he would go about and have a Drishti on Simha ruled by Sun. So, now... You have a Shani-Sun combination. This is a covert or a disguised or a stealth way in which combinations work. Now what I'm going to do in the same horoscope, I'm going to put Sun in Magaram, Makara Rashi. right? So here you put Sun in Makara Rashi. So what happens to Sun here? Sun is in the Rashi of Shani. So again, this becomes a Sun-Shani combination. But if you look at it from a very, very superficial standpoint of it, it would look like what? Sun-Shani is actually getting into a Shashtashtaka. So how can you even consider it as a combination? But if you happen to predict all that I told you for this person, it would be bang on. It would be functioning. So you need to understand there are so many hideous, disguised, and beautiful ways. Obviously, we are talking about it in the positive context in which astrology works as to how you can actually go about and decipher combinations. So here in this case, Shani is aspecting the house ruled by Sun, Shani-Sun combination. Sun is in the sign of Makara, Sun-Shani combination. Sir, are you telling both have to come, then only a combination? No, I'm just giving this to you as an example. So even if I had to remove this, Still, it is a combination. Or if I had to keep this and remove this, still it is a combination. So I also want you to remember that. right? So always keep this in mind. At times, astrology gives you results directly. Directly means what? Directly you will see sh Shani and Sun in a Rashi. That's an easy way of predicting. Shani in the Nakshatra of Sun. Direct way of predicting. But there are many a times... Most of the times, rules will come in this fashion, predictions will come in this fashion, and you should be able to 
see it. And how do you see it? You should always have patience when you actually study, when you actually go about and do your consultation. Don't do it in a hurry. That is when you would miss out on some beautiful points. And when you miss out on all those beautiful points, what would you do? You would say, the rule is wrong. The teacher who taught me is wrong. The book is wrong. None of this is wrong. Everything is absolutely correct. It is just that the perspective or the point of view in which you need to see the rule has to change. Right? So let's say Shani is in Simha Rashi. Can I take it as a combination? Yes, you can take it as a combination. Right? So let us say Shani and Sun are getting into a Parivartana Stithi. Can we take that as a combination? Yes, you can definitely take it as a combination because that is also a Sambandha. Sambandha means what? A relationship. Okay? Right. Now, cast another horoscope, all of you. All of you cast another horoscope. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to put Shani in Mesharashi. Okay? Again, I'm not putting the Lagna for you here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put Buddha, Buddha Bhagwan, and Shukra Bhagwan in Kumbha Rashi. Now, just for the sake of convenience of people in the northern part of India, I'm putting the Lagna here. So what did I tell? Shani in Mesha, Mesha Shani, and Buddha Shukra in Kumbha. Right? So, what do we have Sir, here? Are you sharing the screen? Ma'am, I'm sharing the screen. Is everybody able to see my screen? No, no. Yes, sir. It is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. We can see, sir. Ma'am, you can log out and log in again. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So now you have Shani in Mesha and you have Mercury and you have Shukra in Kumbharashi. So what do we have here? Here, Shani is aspecting whom? He is aspecting Mithuna. Okay. He is also aspecting what? Tula. Right? So he is aspecting Mithuna, which is ruled by Mercury. He is aspecting what? He is aspecting Tula, who is also ruled by Shukra. Right? So this is what we have here. And in the house of Shani here, which is in Kumbharashi, we have Mercury, we also have Shukra. So in this way, if you just consider this horoscope, and if you had to predict everything associated with what? Associated with a Shani-Mercury combination, Shani-Shukra combination, both of them would be beautifully working to the dot for the person. And this person would tell, how was it, sir, that you're able to come up with these predictions? Even if he had studied astrology also, he would be perplexed as to how you came up with these predictions. So remember, at times, at times, very rarely only, right? You will get what the teacher has taught you, which is what? Direct rules. Shani Mercury, Shani Shukra. But many a times you would get combinations, you would get associations functioning in such benign ways which are hidden in trait and you would miss out on that, right? So, for some people, predictions and ways to actually go about and predict happens in the horoscope wherein you'll see things and naturally it is there in the horoscope, directly it is there and you predict. But many a times, rules will function but nonetheless, the combinations will be in a hidden format. Now, considering the same horoscope, right? can we say it is a Shani-Mars combination? Why? Because Shani is in Mesha Rashi, Mesha ruled by Mars. Yes. You go and predict everything for Shani-Mars, that will also go about and work. Right? So this is the way it ought to be. This is the way you should predict. Right? And the moment you actually go about and cast a horoscope, construct a horoscope and learn and study, you will be able to actually go about and find beautiful answers. Remember what I told you in the previous class, four weeks, whatever you're learning with me, you should be able to apply it. You should be able to earn money with it. Why? Because there should be some value. No? Whatever you do, there should be a value which you should associate with. And with that money only, you should come back to me. With that money only, you should actually go and pay what? 
your monthly dakshana which is your class fee sir this week this month so many horoscopes this month 10 horoscopes 15 horoscopes i saw sir this much money i earned yeah take your fees now you're doing a good job you're teaching me i'm applying i've used your knowledge good it's working out you can continue as a teacher that is the way which means i want you all to take this promise that from today onwards whatever i'm learning i'm going to apply whatever i'm applying i should see a value associated with it beat in whatever forms and only using that value i'm going to give back that value to the teacher a partial portion or whatever portion and with that only i should continue otherwise if it is not creating a value for me that means it's no point being guided by this teacher that's a wait is now what i want you all to do is i just want you to leave a few pages of gap one page two page three page because you all are filled with wisdom filled with knowledge you're highly intelligent people you would have gathered so much of knowledge from so many books so many teachers so whatever you've learned for the combination which is what sun shani combination shani sun combination leave some gap so that you can fill in what you've learned from the teachers from the books and let's go to the next so write down shani moon next combination shani moon moon shani So I want you all to listen carefully. It's very, very, very easy. As long as you understood the Karakatwa, simple LKG astrology. See, I am not your PhD teacher. Simple LKG astrologer. That's all. LKG teacher. So Karakatwas of Shani. Shani, we have already given what the trademark. What is it? Ailment. Because we are studying about medical astrology here. Moon. What does it mean? Write down point number one. Mental illness. Why? Because Shani is Roha. moon is your manasa number 2 mental peace will be less what will they do for small small things they will get frightened for small small things they will get agitated right remember moon how many years as far as the vimshotri dasha is concerned 10 years right so for people who are mentally afflicted right or somebody who is mentally disturbed what do we tell We tell that you need to go to Kielpok. You need to go to Kielpok Medical Hospital and take a treatment. So Kielpok, Chennai, ten. So see how, just like that, you know, without knowledge itself, without our knowledge, without people's knowledge who have actually gone about and named a place, selected a place, selected a pin code, somewhere or the other, the grahas are bound to actually go about and do their duty. why specifically it's keel park why specifically this pin code for keel park like that you actually go about and do an assessment for each and everything around you and you will see that yes indeed a graha is connected with whatever that place signifies be it in the form of name be it in the form of pin code be it in the form of street name everything will be connected respected sir and ma'am similarly let's say sun well placed in a person's horoscope right so the place to go in chennai is egmore which is also called as elumbur elumb in tamil means bone right that's how it is number 3 will have problems related to the lung lungs right so let's say sun is in pushya nakshatra yes you can consider sorry let's say moon i'm sorry is in pushya nakshatra yes you can consider let's say moon is in uttara bhadrapada nakshatra yes you can consider let us say moon is in anuradha nakshatra yes you can consider number 4 will have cold wheezing or asthma see how easily you are able to actually go about and decipher the ailment right now again i repeat straight away you should not tell you will have all these 24 ailments if you tell he will you will have all these 24 ailments what will the person do whatever consultation fee is kept on top of the table he will take that if he has kept one if he has if he has kept one banana and betel nut betel nut banana betel leaves sorry araka nut betel leaves banana on the table that also he will take next bus he will catch and he will run away you'll never see a face again no that is not the way it is 
step by step one by one what is required for that moment that is the way you should actually go about and predict right number 5 remember what i told there's something called as kala desa vartamana right so a person would have come for something you cannot go and tell unrelated unrelevant things but you should definitely know that all this is there in the horoscope number 5 neer gandam neer ganda ganda means what danger danger associated with water number 6 i ailment sun is right eye moon is left eye number 7 if it is a female horoscope then they will have problems pertaining to the uterus number 8 problems in menstruation or their menstrual cycle number 9 white discharge for whom female what is it called it is called as leucorrhea next regular points which means men and women common number 10 sleep will be less number 11 ten sleep will be less number 11 drainage of pus pus number 12 intestinal ailment remember when it comes to moon we can also consider the intestine for moon as well right why because moon chandra is food so food finally where does it go it goes to the intestine there is a flow of water there is a flow in the intestine so moon can also be considered for the intestine so shani moon intestinal ailment if you are not having your food properly what will happen you will have a problem with your intestine number 3 sami adidal sami adidal is what it's usually what we call as god frenzy god frenzy like in the movie kantara go like that one person would tell no like that but here there is a difference here see when we are talking about sami adidal or going god frenzy it can be with respect to one deep faith in a god which obviously becomes positive so when there is god frenziness associated with mangala associated with surya even associated with rahu it is something pertaining to one's intuition right he is really connected with the deity see in that movie also no the entire crux of the movie is is god speaking to you or are you cooking up a story right so when it is mars when it is mangala when it is rahu then it is indeed the god who is speaking it is indeed something amanasha supernatural but when we are looking at shani moon it is being possessed but you know it is you yourself don't know why you are possessed how you are possessed who is possessed you it is that right it is a by product of depression it is a by product of poor mental health so this is the difference between the frenziness associated with other grahas and the frenziness obviously associated with what shani chandra so now the question is sir i'm getting pushya nakshatra i'm getting anuradha nakshatra i'm getting uttara bhadra nakshatra uttara uttara bhadra pada nakshatra uttara tadi nakshatra immediately what i should predict i should tell what you are mentally sick you will be god you will be frenzy right you cannot go like that right straight away you cannot put the fifth gear and predict no that is not the way it is and that by the and by the way it also does not mean that you know people who have these nakshatras will be like that no but definitely you should predict did you have cold did you have wheezing did you have a ganda or a danger associated with water right that is how it is so then how do i predict to this level right how do i predict that indeed there is you know what some deep seated mental ailments when you see a multiplicity of malefics again going about and influencing this combination that is when you go to that level this is the way it is right so anybody intestinal ailments definitely you can predict people who have anuradha nakshatra pushya nakshatra you can immediately ask them this come that you know as soon as you have this combination you can tell them that yes you will have or did you have problems pertaining to the lungs yes you will have 
right? A person who's a nakshatra, intestinal ailment, right? Again, a person, we'll just share the horoscope. You can just, for the sake of understanding, right? Kadaga Lagna. Lagna Lord is in the eighth, right? Okay, that is one part. Shanishwaran in Makara Rashi. So what do we have here? Obviously, I told you, we are talking about combinations here. But you also need to keep this in mind. Your eyes should be just on the grahas and how they are associated. Right? So here you have moon in the Rashi of Shani. Shani, aspecting the Rashi of moon. Right? And then perhaps you can look into, you know what, is the 8th involved, right? Is the 12th involved? Is the 6th involved? Or is it the Shubha Bhavas involved, right? Which gives you the intensity of something. So what happened to this person? This person has ulcer, right? In the stomach, he has a boil or a tumor. He's been taking medication for four years now. He's been to multiple hospitals, multiple doctors. He's taken endoscopy seven times did biopsy four times. Two hospitals, they have declared that, you know what? He has cancer. So this is how easy it is without scanning, without taking x-ray, without MRI. Not that I am actually going about and discouraging you from doing all of that. But being an astrologer, as an astrologer, how just by looking at a horoscope, bang on, you can actually go about and predict. You will have asthma. You will have problems related with the lungs right this is such a big thing that you can do so please 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 understand what is the value of the shastra what is the value of jyotisha here it is invaluable right that's the reason astrology and medicine are one and the same it is in the same par in fact in the earlier times an astrologer would be a doctor a doctor would be an astrologer not like how it is now right so next, you can take Shani, Mars, Mars, Shani combination. Shani, Mars, Mars, Shani combination. Right? So write down. Number one. Accident. They should be careful when it comes to accidents. Right? See, if you fall down, that is also an accident. If some vehicle comes behind you and hits you, that is also an accident. Right? Both of them are accidents. Number two, tooth problem, dental problem. Number three, electric accident. Number five. Number five. Sorry, number three, electric accident. Number four, fire accident. Number five, blood-related ailment. Number six. Number six. Constipation. Constipation. Number four. Cut wounds. Number eight. Blood pressure. Both low BP and high BP included here. Right? All this is for those who have Ma Shani, Shani Ma's combination. Right. See, if you look at them, those who have this combination, definitely they will have an accident. They should be careful. Right. After that, there will also definitely be a problem pertaining to what? Dental ailment, teeth, tooth-related ailment. This will be there. Again, fire accidents, just like, you know, having a burn or while cutting vegetables, cutting something, they will go and hurt their finger or hand. Right. So they will have a cut. That is how it is. Then constipation will be there. Low BP, high BP. All these are like, you know what? Standard. This will be there. Right? So all these points, let's say somebody has, somebody has a Kumbha Mangala. All the points have come for this person. Right? Again, a person has Shani in Chitra Nakshatra. Chitra Nakshatra, second Padha. Major 11 accidents he has had till now. And now, every month, here and there, he will have some small, small accidents. So, he's taken one, 
small little contract for accidents itself so you will find such cases right another person shani and mars in the 11th bhava and the horoscope we are not taking the 11th here we are just taking shani mars combination here but nonetheless for the sake of explanation i'm telling you right accident vehicle accident tooth problem again the place where he is working there was a fire accident owing to a electric short circuit right again uh he had a accident where you know what the blade in his motorcycle the blade in the motorcycle came uh, cut him and he had to go through a medication pertaining to that right blood pressure all these points are there so you also need to analyze and obviously when i'm giving you the time to actually go about and unmute yourself you can also share your side of stories obviously by asking doubts so this is a easy way simple way very 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 easy way to actually go about and come up with predictions pertaining to medical astrology again shani mars combination or mars shani combination you will also find the moment you see this combination you, you should ask the person in your bathroom are you using a electrical motor electrical motor to pump water not like what the other person told that day you know i'm using what i'm using trimmer can we consider that as a motor no not like that shaving uh, what is that called shaving motor no i'm talking about a motor an electric big motor which pumps water many of them what they would do is right in the toilet or right in the bathroom right they will be having an electric motor they should not keep that that will actually go about and amplify this problem again when you see a shani mars combination mars shani combination you could also ask them the steps in your house the steps in your house have you painted it red i remember a student had told brownish black blackish brown something see red is mangala saffron is mangala something close to saffron is also mangala so if the brown is a brown it is fine but if the brown is close to saffron you should remove that because it will create unwanted accidents of course more of this will come when i take a separate class on vastu shastra where there would be a separate supplementary course on vastu shastra on how to keep your house what to keep inside your house how to design your house all that would obviously be coming to you right now sir how do we escape all of this the point here is certain things in the horoscope is considered as a prapta that is there of course as far as remedies are concerned separately i've co covered it in the prm which is the parihara course but whenever you see a combination and there is a drishti of guru or if a combination happens and you see this combination connected with the 5911 now it does not mean that the problem is not going to come but it just means the problem will come and the problem will sort itself out itself out or you would be able to go about and come out of it this is all that it means right let me share another interesting horoscope which obviously was shared right so right guru in mesh rashi shani mangala in dhanush rashi right so here you see you have a shani mars combination here okay but obviously you also see a drishti of guru which means problem is there the saving grace is also there right now you also need to closely observe this horoscope here there is a parivartana wherein we are talking about a parivartana between guru and mangala so if you are talking about a parivartana between guru and mangala remember i told you parivartana is strength but additionally apart from predicting for shani mars you can also predict for shani guru and ask this person sir did you get a catch in your body and the answer was a yes muscle spasms or catch in the muscle area that will also be a yes the interesting thing about this person is whenever there is an accident he will somehow escape that accident but the person who's coming with him he will suffer more that is the impact not that a parivartana always means that you know the other person will get impacted here in this case owing to a parivartana what has to come to him it is going to the other person right so this is how it is right again you should also tell when shani mars combination is there black clot that can easily happen right next point number 9 shani mars 
the hemoglobin count won't be correct. So one time they will go to the doctor and they will check the hemoglobin. It will be what? It will be very, very low. Then they will go and check. It will be high. Then again they will go and check. Then it will be normal. So this hemoglobin count won't be correct. Why? Because Shani is slow. Shani is incorrect. So this hemoglobin count won't be correct for them. So the next time you actually get a person who has a Shani hmm, mass combination, first thing you should ask him is, was your hemoglobin count 12 any time? And the answer would be a yes. right? And it is always advised for these people to at least have a hemoglobin count of 12. Most likely Shani mass, mass Shani combination, they will have a hemoglobin count of 12. But it is always good for them to have a hemoglobin count of 12 and above. And that is a sign of their health. And you would find many of them having a hemoglobin count of 12. But this correctness of the hemoglobin count will be always a problem for them. What is this 12? Shani Dasha, 19 years. Maas Dasha, 7 years. 19 minus 7 is equal to 12. For those who have Shani mass combination and who are having problem with hemoglobin, or even if they are not having problem with hemoglobin, Shani is impacting mass, which indicates the blood, right? So, eating drumstick regularly or eating drumstick leaves, which is called as Murunga Kire, can actually do a lot of good for them, right? Likewise, they say Unave Marandu, which means what? Food is medicine. They also say instead of giving the money to the doctor, you can give the money to the grocery shop owner. Which means when you buy good food to eat, quality food to eat, not junk foods, the food itself becomes amrita, right? Unave amudam, that is what they also say. So a solution to all the health ailments is in the form of food. And here for Shani Maas, Ma Shani combination, drumstick. Of course, I've also given you varied other uses of drumsticks in the Parihara class that you can look into. So like this, we've covered or I'm giving you the ability to go about and cover the horoscope in a 360 degree format, which is easy, which settles down in your mind and which cannot be forgotten. And obviously, 